introduction first. Okay, so I uh, want to try something new about the, um, um, like having artists contribute to it with each other. So we're going to do like 15 minute shorts. And first up, we got Herbert Edwards of Myrtle Beach Airbrush. Like he's going to do a heart design. Yeah, this is just a real simple couples design that we have for a young lady. It's actually that design right there. So right. there we go. It's actually that design right there. And you can do that right over here. I'm hoping that I don't have to explain, you know, uh, this particular stencil is made out of... Uh, Palon, and no, this is not my idea. I do want to go ahead and give credit to Big Air and all those guys down in Florida. It's one of their designs, so whoever came up with it, that's that's whose it is. So I, I don't want to take credit for making this particular design. And is it a, do you sell it a lot? Is it a big seller? Yeah, it's on Palon. Okay. Someone gave it to me, so I did not cut it myself. So I got gifted a stack of Florida stencils. Uh -huh. So that was nice. Um, and basically a customer came in, ordered it. Um, they were going to order it online, except for the turnaround time. They needed it quicker is what they said. So they came in and ordered it. Do you, um, do you anyway, do so you I don't, I don't know how much... Do you change the colors or you keep it the same color? Same colors. And probably I'm uh, going to be a little bit more outside of um, the design than what's up on the sample. Um, all right. So as far as me, I have a personal preference, which sometimes doesn't match up with a client. And again, this is for whoever is watching. They can do whatever they want to do. Um, I tend to do the names in white. And that's because I want to do a nice outline and I want to change colors. And because I haven't decided, um, I've decided colors, but I don't know if I like the way they blend. So all I'm doing is just taking a white, putting in the name, just to get a position for the name. As far as positioning the stencils, I usually go about four or five fingers down from the collar minimum. And I wanted to leave a nice room for the, the name to be in there. Uh, let's see. And I start with my light blue because I know I've got a little bit of blue that's going to be around the outer edge. So we're going to put in our water real quick. I don't know if this is going to take 15 minutes, but... <laughs> Yeah, I think I might have to change the time because I think uh, um, 15 minutes for some designs probably be a little bit much. But it's fine if we go over. Let's see, we got a little bit of sky to throw in. And I know that I'm going to put some blue in this name. Let's see. We're going to put some orange in just well, some pretty little shop. sky pretty well, little I sky shop, i did a lot of uh, beach designs but i haven't did them in a while so i feel like i'm out of practice say it again i said when i was at a beach store i did a lot of beach designs but now that um um since i, I haven't did beach scenes in a while i feel like i'm kind of out of practice i uh, know i've watched people do beach de designs way better than i do and I'm just jealous. I'm like, I like doing them, but I like doing them, I think, because they're fast and predictable. Like, yeah. they're no-brainers. You don't have to use your brain. You kind of can go to sleep while you're doing it. A little bit of neon pink for those who would like to know what colors I'm using. Um, these colors are the Createc line. Um, just the Wicked, because I think Wicked now just has their new... Um, fluorescent colors out if you don't know about that um, you, uh, and then other than that I shake my bottles well before I start using the color first thing in the morning 
and then I shake them again periodically through the day. So if somebody says, how do you get your colors so bright? Pigment does settle and, you know, uh, separate. So if you can just remember to shake them every once in a while, that's a big help. You know, I don't do that. I go straight to it. Say it again. I said, I don't, I don't, I don't shake my bottles. I go straight to it. Maybe I, need to I know. It. We talked about that. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. update everybody. I believe in shaking your bottles because I think it is the best way to get the pigment through the paint consistently every time you use um, that particular bottle, especially if you do it first thing in the morning. And I just put my finger over the uh, air hole for the bottle. And then I use my other fingers to kind of hold the brush in place and then just shake it back and forth. Uh, and I try to turn it upside down. But again, that's just like I said, to get the liquid more consistent all the way around and make sure no pigment kind of settles in the bottom. And again, everybody's going to do their thing. Everybody is going to be different. It's okay. It's, it's a big deal to some people, not a big deal to others. We're going to try to finish out the horizon line. And I'm quite sure somebody in Florida is going, why did he do it that way? You shouldn't have done it that way. Uh, yeah. Again. I'm pretty, sure, I'm pretty sure everybody got their own technique of doing it. Yeah. Was that black or blue? Well, I try to get all the colors out of the way first. And try to save black for last if I can. And that's just so I can have a nice rich black sitting on top. And you don't have to go over it again. And I don't have to go over it. And again, you know, everybody's going to have their preference as to what they want to do. Uh, it is not that important to me. Enjoy your life. And do what makes you feel best. <laughs> and what's easier for you. Right. So in that neon yellow in there. Uh, Got to do some raspberry just to give the crowd some kind of form. You're using quick necks, huh? Yes, I have only one hose that I disconnect and reconnect. I didn't like those. So that way, because I used to have a whole bunch of hoses, but then I would trip over them and my feet would catch in them. So I just got to the point where I was sick of that. And I saw somebody that came from Atlanta to Myrtle Beach to make money. Hi, Kai. I'm quite sure you're not watching. Um, and I was just like, that is genius. I've got to get me a quick connect and one hose. And I loved it ever since. We're going to put the magical Myrtle Beach on here. So you signed, you signed all your designs? Well, I signed at Myrtle Beach because that's what they've required me to do. Oh. This makes it more like a souvenir. You should make you a stencil. Otherwise, I'd sign a Myrtle Beach airbrush. <laughs> and then we take care of the name. And again, this is just the way I do it. If you're having a hard time with doing cursive i do recommend looking at calligraphy videos and learning from those videos how to make your letters look better because in airbrushing some font looks better than others when you're putting it on the shirt and i just had a gentleman show me some letters and they wanted to improve 
and I recommended calligraphy and practice with a pen. Believe it or not, even practicing with a pen will get your, your handwriting much better. Yeah. And voila. I don't know if this took 15 minutes, but boom. Oh, they look good. It's done. And just like that. So just like that. Say how much you, you charge for that design. Say again. You you uh you want to say how much you charge for that design? I think I lost you. I lost. I lost you. All right, say something? Nope. All right, thanks a lot, Herbert.